guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, me and Olivia are gonna be doing our makeup today. Hope you enjoy. Are you ready to jingle your bells? Are you ready to jingle your bells? All right, I'm starting with my foundation, my Fit Me. I'm doing my, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my eyebrows first, and I'm using Anastasia Brow Lip Caramel. All right. Oh, we lost our minds. Yeah, just <laughs> there. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing this with no mirror, so. <laughs> like, I hope I'm getting this all over my face because I can't see myself. <laughs> Alright, let's get me a mirror because this just isn't working. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, uh... Oh, I did pretty good. Now I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. What color is this? Light neutral. Red bumps. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the Real Techniques Beauty Blender and the Morphe one. So. I'm using Fit Me in 110 because I'm papered. This awesome being papered. It actually doesn't even barely match me, but that's fine. They don't make a lighter shade. <laughs> <laughs> make sure to always wet your wet your beauty blender. So if so, you'll if or if not, you'll ruin it and when you try and clean it the foundation is like You're disgusting <laughs> I'm about to set <laughs> my face with the Maybelline um translucent powder 105 <laughs> see that? Yeah that's cool. It's basically out but and I basically I basically I basically <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Anyways, who wants to go first? And I'm putting my concealer under my eyes, above my lip, chin, in between my eyebrows and my nose. Okay, that looks about right. And now I'm gonna put my the powder all over my face called Hello Flawless from Benefit, and this is shade All the World's My Stage. No, that's, beige. That's not the beige. shade. <laughs> you beige. I'm using the color. This shade. <laughs> I'm using the Jack O'Neill brush. Okay. And almost all of our, well, I would say all of our brushes are probably from Morphe. Every single one of mine are. Yeah. Okay. And now to highlight my face and a contour, I'm using the Anastasia um, contour kit, light and medium. Oh, you see how fast Rachel moves and how slow I move. And first, I'm just going to use this Jack O'Neill brush. In the lighter shades to highlight my face. Okay, to set my face, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in, what do you know, fair. Just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I set every, basically everywhere I put my concealer. Okay, I love dark bronzer. <laughs> love. <laughs> love. <laughs> so I use this big Jaclyn Hill brush for my bronzer. Y'all see how dark it is up there. And I use every single color. I literally just go like, and just make it look good. Putting extra. Okay, I used to like really dark blush, but that's we're past that. Stage. Yeah, we're past that. But I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pink Passion Blush True. That's what it's called, right? Looks like this. It's really pretty. I bought it for her. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm using the Jaclyn Hill brush. And just put it right here on my cheekbone. I use my Kat Von D contour kit. I'll probably use that today. Okay. For a highlight, I use the Kylie uh, Snow Angel. It comes in a collection. And then with my bronzer, kind of like how Rachel did, I'm using this big brush and I'm just doing the outside of my face so underneath my cheekbones and then around my forehead. After that I just kind of blend it in just a little bit and then second because I used two highlighters I used the Opal Becca highlighter it's so pretty and I just got it. How do you open it? Right. See? <laughs> I'm weird, but I did my eyebrows very last. And she does them very first, so. 
Anyways. Anyways. I use the Cabral by Benefit. Shade number two. It's really out, but. And I know this is weird too, but I use a concealer brush. Was that concealer? Yes, it is. I use this brush for my brows. Because okay. I think it's easier. I'm using the Anastasia Blush Kit for blush. Where did my hair go? <laughs> um, I kind of use like any of these. But I think they're all pretty, so who cares? Okay. Okay, here you go. This is so hard. And then I take my bronzer brush and kind of blend it back up. I don't overline my eyebrows. I just kind of fill them in to make them darker. Oh, I have to. I know a lot of people overline them, but... It's because you don't really have any, like, I. you don't have any holes. For highlight, I've been using this one from ColourPop. It's called Lunch, Lunch Money. It's called Super Shock Cheek. And it's, like, it's kind of weird. It's, like, cream. So you really have to, like, rub your brush. You have to, like, swirl it to really get it on there, but it's really pretty. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. I want some. Add some to me. Okay, hold on. Let me get my other cheek. If I don't highlighter, I'll probably either use I have one from Wet n Wild that I like, and then I also use Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop with Becca. Yeah, I left my Champagne Pop at home because it's crushed, and last time oh, I crushed. spilled it everywhere. So that day I went and bought Opal. Mine's crushed, but I don't like here. Okay, I've had mine for like three years, and it's been. Crushed. I'm moving okay. the eyeshadow. See, I don't really wear eyeshadow on an everyday basis, so maybe, I do. maybe I'll catch right back up. And right now I have eyelash extensions, which I wish I'd never have gotten them, but it's whatever. Um, I normally wear eyeliner every single day, I'm gonna but stay out now since I have these, I have to wait until they fall off. Oh, they look pretty normal. Okay. Um, okay, my favorite two palettes to use is the Morphe 350 and the Jaclyn Hill palette. I backed her up on that. <laughs> Um, okay, after I do like my rest of my face, I just take some powder that's like really light. This one's another Fit Me powder. And I take a small brush and I just go, hold on, I need a mirror. And I just go right underneath my contour to really like chisel it out and make it like super sharp. Because okay. I don't really like the whole like muddy cheek look. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like look how dirty my palettes are. That means I use them at um, I use them at um, You're blocking my light. <laughs> Say them. Of the colors? Yes. I do know a few of them. That one's called that one's called Obsessed. I'm gonna use the Morphe M433 brush for my for my creases. I'm gonna start off with a light brown color. I'm gonna use that color. Okay, where did my mirror go? Right there. Okay, moving on to my eyeshadow. I just basically take bronzer and put it in my crease and then I take a little bit of highlighter and put it on my um, inner corners. And I and just swoosh it around. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> swoosh it around. But I kind of go back and forth and then I kind of like circle my brush like that. Because like I don't, well, I guess I wouldn't say I'm putting it exactly in my crease. I kind of bring it down to my eyelid just to like, I don't know, get it everywhere. And normally I put a darker color right here on my eyelid increase just to let my eyes pop. Okay, the second color I'm gonna use is this pretty dark brown from the Morphe 350. Right. And I'm kinda just gonna put that in my crease and kinda on my eyelid in the corner. Let's see. Okay, I'm taking my ColourPop highlighter, the same one I used, and then a small little, this is actually for like your under eyes, but I use it for my inner corner. And let's see. I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye. Alright, so I'm just taking it and putting it, oh, can you see? Like, right there. I feel like, I mean, it doesn't really, mm, I shouldn't say that. I feel like it makes it, like, now a pretty good difference. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill um, JH90 brush to kind of blend it all out. And just swirl it all around my eyelids, basically. Now I'm using the Jaclyn Hill J33 brush for the dark in my corners. The dark in my corners. <laughs> the dark in my corners. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill. You get, what she, you get what she means. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill. I'm going to use these three colors mixed. Can you see? These three colors mixed. I'm going to start off with this one. And just, yeah. It's really dark. 
but it's a guy. Okay. That's funny. And these are like, to mention again, I don't know if we already did, these are like our everyday, like, get ready. Well, I. Is this your everyday? She never wears makeup, so that's not her everyday. So, but this is my every not single school, day. But not school. That's not a big deal. I wear makeup to school every single day. She. I don't even know. I don't even remember the last time she wore makeup to school. If I'm being honest. Neither do I. <laughs> Pro probably picture day. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> it's just sleep is so much better. Okay. Alright, so um, I put gel, um, eyebrow gel on my brows and then basically I just move on to mascara. I'm about to kind of use this burgundy. I'm about to kind of use <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use this burgundy color. <laughs> this burgundy color to kind of pop out my eyes. I'm going to bring it up right here. Okay, we both use it. It's L'Oreal um, Voluminous. Lash Paradise, it's in the little pink tube. You can get it everywhere. Okay, I'm done with that. Now the glitter. Glitter. I always wear glitter on my I'm eyelids! I'm just kidding. I'm messing Okay, up. this is my favorite color from the Morphe 350. As you can tell, it's worn out, that color. I just put it on my eyelids, and then I'll kind of mix it out to the corner of my eye, and then put something else there. I'm kind of, um... And then I'll use another color for my eyebrows, for my eyebrow bone, which I'll show you that. But first, I'm just gonna do my eyelids. I'm kind of scared to see this footage. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we can oh, okay. I'm gonna blend it out to the corner of my eye right here with the Morphe Jack Bun Hill JH42. <laughs> I feel like every single bump. Like I feel like we're not gonna like. Okay, don't talk. Okay, for my eyebrow bone, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm going to use this silver color. Olivia told me that it's called Obsessed. I I'm think not sure. I think she it think it is. Tap it because that's a lot. Okay, right now, I'm since I've eyelash, 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 eyelash extensions. I don't put mascara on the top of my eyelashes, so. I'm using the Tarte Man Eater just for my bottom eyelashes. It just looks like this. A little thin. Whatever. Whatever. I'm just gonna kind of. Okay, um, I'm basically done. So, all I have left is lips, which I normally just wear like lip gloss, but recently I've been using a combo of NYX, it's their retractable lip liner in Nude, and then a Maybelline lipstick in Nude Embrace. It's pretty good. Okay, right now, I just use gloss. Mainly I use chapstick, but sometimes I just yeah, forgot. Yeah, Forget to put it on, so. Actually, usually it's chapstick. Probably. I'm just using the NYX Butter Gloss. It is... I just take my lipstick since the same thing. I don't want to look too done up. I just kind of like go like that, like really, really softly. I line my lips with the NYX, same one that she uses, but I do not overline my lips. I don't even know how to do that. So, anyways. Oh, oh my god. What? I have a mole on the inside of my lip. Look how cool. Or a freckle. Okay. Are you sure that's just not a bruise? Is it chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's so weird. Oh. Okay. I don't always line my lips. Just whenever I get to it. And then like, well since we're not at home, I don't have all my makeup with me. But sometimes Same. I'll like do setting spray. Which is either the Morphe setting spray, um, Urban Decay All Nighter, or the Mario Badesco Rose Water. I use bottle. the Urban Decay All Nighter since... It's the only one I have, and I think it's the best out of every single one of that she uses. So, anyways. K. K. Yeah, I think people are like, damn. Okay. We're done so, here. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you <laughs> like our first video. Well, my first video. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye, guys. Peace. I don't know how to stop it. <laughs>